Okay, we're going to work this out. We are dividing complex numbers, and at the end, we have to make sure that our answer is in the form of a plus bi. And you see, whenever we are dividing complex numbers, we are going to pay attention to the denominator first. This is 8 plus 3i. And to divide complex numbers, we look at this, and we are going to multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate of the bottom. So that's why I said this is 8 plus 3i. What's the conjugate of this? You just have to look at the middle and change the sign, right? With that being said, I'm just going to multiply the bottom by 8. And then instead of the plus, we'll put down minus, and then this stays the same as well. 8 minus 3i. And once again, this is just the conjugate of the bottom. And to do the conjugate, this is a plus. You just have to change the sign in the middle. That's all. And of course, we do the same thing on the top as well. So I'll put this down in a parentheses, and then I will also multiply the top by 8 minus 3i. And it is just that this and that happens to be the same. Okay? But once again, this right here, it's a conjugate of the denominator. And now we can just work this out. So to do this, I will just work out the bottom for you guys. This right here, we have a special formula for it, right? a plus b times a minus b, we know is a squared minus b squared. The easy way to do this is that I will look at the first term, which is 8. So let me show you. I will just look at the first term, which is the 8. I'll put that in the parentheses, and then I'll square that. And then we'll subtract the second term, which is the 3i. We will put this in a parentheses, and then I'll square that. And let's work this out real quick. 8 squared is 64, and then we have minus. 3 squared is 9, but then we have i squared as well. And now, what is i squared? Well, focus on the i squared part. You know this is actually a real number. This is just a negative 1. Okay, and I'll show you guys all the steps. So right here, we will have 64 minus 9, and we'll change this to negative 1. So 64 minus 9 times negative 1. This right here is pretty much changing to add the 9. 64 plus 9, right? This is pretty much 64 plus 9. And you have 73 at the end. So that's on the denominator. And perhaps some of you guys can save a few steps, but I just want to show you guys all the details. You see, at the end, the denominator is just a regular number. No more, ra no more i's, no more radicals. Okay, let's look at the top. Well, we have to just do the foil. So let's take the 8 times the 8, which is going to give us 64. And then we see 8 times negative 3i is going to give us negative 24i. And then continue, negative 3i times 8, negative 3 times a is negative 24, and we maintain the i. And then at the end, this times that, negative times a negative give us positive. 3 times 3 is 9, and then we also have to do i times i, which is i squared. So this is what we have. Well, once again, we see the i right here. huh? So we have to replace this with negative 1. So in fact, this is plus 9 times negative 1. So all in all, this is just going to be minus 9. All right, combine like terms, and we'll be done. So you see, we have 64 right here, and then we have to minus 9. What's 64 minus 9? Well, it's going to be 55. Right, let's put that down. And then negative 24i minus 24i, let me just do it like this for you guys. I'm looking at these two terms. Combine these two terms together, that will give us negative 48i. The i term stays. And this is all over 73. But then, as I said, we should write this down as a plus bi form. But this is what we have. Finally, finally, we'll write this down as 55 over 73, and then minus 48 over 73. And then we put the i on the side. a plus bi form. The b in this case is a negative value, but that's what we said. a plus bi form, the standard form of a complex number. And this right here is it.